For many of us, it's our favorite time of the year when the leaves turn red, yellow, brown, and orange. Over the past few autumns, we have been lucky to have some very vibrant fall colors. So what makes for bright, colorful leaves? Good question. And maybe more importantly, mm. are we expected to get a nice one this season? Yes. Exactly. Well, one. good news is so far, so good. Conditions are ripe for the bright colors this year, but we're going to need the next few weeks to cooperate weather-wise. According to the DNR, there are only a few spots in northern and western Minnesota that have started to turn, and here in the metro, we're looking at the end of the month. So we're already talking fall colors. I mean, it's already the time. Yes, I've been waiting for it. Isn't that amazing <laughs> how you blink your eyes and it's <laughs> September 7th? Mm -hmm. Yes. So far, we're heading into what looks like it's going to be a great fall color season. Val Cervenka heads up the Forest Health Program at the DNR. What we really need is bright, sunny, warm days and then cool nights without frost. Add that to what's already happened. It has to be plenty of rain. The really wet summer. Right. That was a big deal. Right, it was. We have a budding little scientist here, huh? Yes, oh, yeah. Cool. But all this water is going to keep trees healthy. They don't get a chance to dry out. The rainy summer means the leaves will keep producing chlorophyll, which keeps them green. And that's what you need to start uh, going into fall. Do you have a favorite spot where you go watch the leaves? I go up north to Duluth. Minnehaha Falls is beautiful. Yes. It's a good one. Yes. As you said we need warm days and cool nights. What's the science behind that? It's also the length of the day. Mm -hmm. You know, how much sun there is. The warm days allows the um, the trees to continue producing sugar in the leaves. Which is partly responsible for the bright colors. And then the cool nights slow down the production of chlorophyll, that green pigment. And so when the chlorophyll goes away, other colors show up. So for example, the yellows, they're always there in the leaves, but the chlorophyll masks that color. This is Minnesota, that's how it goes. And then very soon we'll be talking of how much snow yeah. there will be. <laughs> so. Oh, not so fast. Now, you might have noticed a few trees here in the metro that are already turning, and our expert tells us that it's likely not fall colors quite yet, but rather a tree that's probably under some sort of stress, maybe too little moisture, maybe too much moisture. So just keep your fingers crossed for 70s, low 80s, sunny uh, nights in the 40s or so. Uh, for the rest of September. Stick around, right. we know a guy. Yeah, Do we'll you? find yeah. out. Yeah. Hang Thank on. you. Mm -hmm. If you have a good question, please email it by going to wccocom links.